Hey guys, the objectives for this video are to discuss cavitation and to discuss net positive suction head. So cavitation occurs at low pressures and generally occurs on the suction side of a pump. This occurs when the liquid pressure drops below vapor pressure. So the total head should be greater than the vapor pressure and that will ensure that cavitation doesn't occur. So to ensure that, we have this equation here for net positive suction head. Now this first equation here is our net positive suction head required. And this is just generally for any pump, we need to ensure that the pressure on the suction side of the pump divided by the unit weight plus the velocity on the suction side of the pump squared divided by two times gravity minus the pressure, the vapor pressure divided by unit weight is greater than zero. When we're pumping out um, from a free surface, like we are here, we've got our pump here at a distance Z1 from the surface, we need to ensure that the net positive suction head available is greater than zero. And to do that, we just make sure that this equation here is greater than zero. So the pressure, the atmospheric pressure divided by unit weight minus the vapor pressure divided by unit weight minus Z1, which is the distance from our pump to the free surface, and we minus off the head losses that occur within our system and within the pump. So net positive suction head required, that just applies for any pump, but when we're pumping from a free surface, we need to ensure that the net positive suction head available is also greater than zero. Anyway guys, that was just a quick introduction to net positive suction head and cavitation. I'll see you guys in the next video.